A day of advocacy now amplified after House Bill 4156 was signed into law. It is aimed at undocumented immigrants and today is Hispanic Cultural Day at the Capitol, which was originally meant to highlight the culture. But today the community is using it as a day of advocacy. So KOCO Shelby Montgomery is live for us there at the Capitol this morning. And Shelby, this was a last minute change. Good morning. Yes, it was and setup has already started here at the Capitol. They've made progress on this stage right here. So today's theme was meant to be highlighting Latinos in STEM, but instead leaders in the community want to make sure state leaders know they do not stand with this new law. So this event is an annual event highlighting Hispanic food, music, art and culture. But with this new law that allows law enforcement to remove undocumented immigrants from Oklahoma, Latino caucus members say there's been an outpouring of concern and fear in the community. And this morning we are hearing from AG Gettner Drummond, who says this bill was meant to target those here illegally and engaging in illegal activities like illegal marijuana grows. And he understands there are unintended consequences to this bill. We also heard from a lawmaker in the Latino caucus earlier this week. Uh, there was a lot of concern, a lot of fear, and a lot of people within the community that didn't feel comfortable celebrating the culture with people um, at the Capitol that wanted to essentially kick, kick them out of the state. Law abiding individuals of our community that are maybe don't have proper access to the United States are going to be uh, hesitant to report a crime or to seek social services and things like that. We don't want that. We want crime to be abated. We want everyone to feel free to report a crime and we will address those crimes. The event does start at 9 o'clock this morning and goes until 4 o'clock this afternoon. The Hispanic community invites everyone out here to join them. Reporting live at the state capitol, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.